I was definitely an advocate, and I thought that I could cure every single solitary problem in Pittsburgh. I worked on it religiously, from the environment to problems with women and children. I did some things that might have been considered illegal at the time, and in my career, I have done it all. I've been in front of the camera, behind the camera. I've owned a radio station. I've been in television, radio, written for newspapers. I'm so thankful. So, you know, I started as a college student with no major. Ended up in a rock and roll band that became a multi-platinum multi selling band. These are all things we do because we can, because we own a recording studio, we have, can chose and have chosen to allow many Pittsburgh musicians to record without a budget to pay upfront for recording time. And so a lot of people have been able to start and learn how to maintain their careers through our programs. In fact, it is not fearlessness. I, I would say that I have a lot of fear and that my word actually is brave. I just organized around that issue, and there we were down at the, just built the towers. I took over the loudspeaker, I didn't, it just sort of seemed like the right thing to do. I was working with the NAACP on the March on Washington, and uh, that was a pretty interesting experience. It's because it is a culture where there, there are places for women, and I think that we have to take those opportunities because I, I have been told that you can't do that. And although there are some things I didn't do because of it, I, I have learned that, that you don't hold yourself back. Right. Let me 